Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Photoshop, Photography and Lightroom. Today I will teach you how to photo manipulation. So it's a, uh, you can say it may be a fact or it may be branding two or three images. But today I will teach you a technique that uh, in, in which I will use two images and uh, this is the final result as you can see on the screen and uh, uh, this is before and and this is after this is the final result that I have got after applying so many layers and blending two images this is before and this is after before starting I want to uh, tell you one thing that uh, people do photo manipulation but they don't use similar light photos like uh, this is my project files project uh, layers and uh, if i close one by one or okay now this is my original image and uh, if i uh, active this layer and you can see the light is similar but the tone is different in Photoshop you can change the tone but you cannot change the light or you cannot merge daylight photo into a night light photo. So light should be similar uh, in both images and the direction should be similar in both images. So let's see how to work with this type of uh, project in Photoshop CS6. Once again this is before and this is after so friends i have uh, firstly two images that uh, i want to blend this image to this image so firstly i will set the position for this uh, layer cloud layer and uh, this is the horizon line as you can see here this is the horizon line between land and the sky and uh, i want to match this horizon line with this horizon line this is my horizon line in this image so I will check firstly um, about the horizon line okay now horizon lines are same at the same position now here my aim is to extract uh, these or you can say crop these children photo into into this cloud photo so firstly I have to take a uh, selection of uh, these children so that I can crop the image so I have already taken a selection and uh, I will go to select then load selection now the selection is available now I want to invert the selection control shift I and then uh, make sure you have uh, click on this photo cloud photo and then click on mask okay now the photo is uh, merging upper part is merging now select this mask and uh, choose this brush tool and apply this and I hope uh, you know about the concept behind the mask and uh, even you can see my tutorials on mask now I want to set the hardness to 42 percent now zoom it so that uh, I can work easily or safely So similarly on this side, uh, set its hardness uh, as per your need and uh, I want low feather at uh, this position at this point. So I want to merge this photo into this. So now I will reduce the opacity for this brush and uh, about uh, 20 and uh, feather maximum I want so that I will apply here 
so apply this brush on the edges of this uh, cloud photo uh, reduce it increase its opacity now the picture is available and some lines black lines are here okay i will zoom it set its hardness to around 77 Now it is again its opacity. Uh, it is all about merging images so that uh, we can get the best result. Control Z. Now it's okay. Now the Now I will go to adjustment layer then uh, go to color balance so that I, I want to match this color tone into this this cloud image into this children photo. So I will hold alt and I will move my mouse this on this between color balance and this uh, layer and click on once so that uh, the effect of this color balance I want to only this. So I have to clip this layer onto this image so I want some warm look now you can see the effect and it is working on only on the cloud image so that I can match the color tone of both image okay now you can see here this is before and this is after now I will merge all these three layers now I will go to filter then next software then color effects I want to apply uh, I want to apply detail extractor and uh, contrast uh, around uh, four to five details around uh, eight and I want to add one more filter that is vignetting Vignetting so that I won't uh, get focus in the center on the children. Okay, and then uh, this is detail extractor and uh, this is vignetting now click on ok so this is the result of uh, color effects filter next software uh, I, will, I will show you each uh, each layer now this is my first layer and uh, this is blending of cloud and then color balance to match the tone of cloud with the image then merging layers and this is color effects so again go to adjustment layer then gradient map I want maximum contrast so black to white gradient then set its blend mode to soft light reduce its opacity around 21 now check it okay now I will again go to this adjustment layer then again color balance so I want a warm look 
now i will merge all these layers uh, set its blend mode to hard light then go to filter then uh, others then high pass mm, i want uh, radius value 2.6 moreover uh, so i have one more image uh, it is about starburst uh, i have positioned it as i want and uh, set its blend mode to screen and uh, and i applied gaussian blur to this image on um, to this effect image starburst and then uh, reduce its opacity as you want so this is the final result i have got and uh, you can see this is before and this is after and i hope you sure that you have liked this video and uh, keep in touch with me on uh, gmail and uh, you can subscribe my channel for more updates like this so thank you friends for watching this video and keep keep continue with the inspiration